Hello everybody, it's really nice to be here. And today I want to present a little um, wave simulation in real time. Um, basically uh, what you see here is a scene of uh, 4K by 4 uh, kilometers. And um, so basically this kind of scenes are maybe interesting for computer games, you know, VR or maybe even movies. And you see that you get a really detailed uh, ocean here. So for reference I have included this little lighthouse here. And let me see what we can do with, uh, uh, with this uh, wave simulator that I worked on for the last couple of months. Um, so let me bump up the waves a little. So you see lots of details. So for example, we can add wind waves. So by just uh, tilting the waves in a certain direction here, so they all move to one direction. Or I can also add uh, some like boundary waves. Uh, so waves that reflect off the boundaries of these islands here. That we toggle this a little bit, so now they are off, now they are on again. So this is pretty nice, and uh, you have probably seen that in other wave simulators too, um, but we can do a lot more. So let me pick up this little brush here, and just, now I can locally attenuate the waves in a certain location. So here you see, still we get all the details, it's basically unlimited detail here, and uh, yeah, I can really just draw the waves, how I want them. Uh, I can even do uh, more interesting stuff. For example, I can do this in a directional manner. So here, I just uh, drew this little, uh, like a swirl, uh, basically. So you see, there are no, not really artifacts, but uh, I mean, it's, it's a quasi-static simulation, so um, it looks a bit weird, because in nature we would hardly see something like that. Um, but you can imagine in the hands of a designer, um, this tool could make some really good use. Uh, uh, models or some, some nice effects basically. So let me draw something else here. So actually I'm not a designer but a few maybe interesting things I can still show with this. Uh, so here you see something like an underwater volcano where the water seems to like boil uh, at a certain location or I have another example that might be more uh, practical oriented. Uh, so you see this gap between the islands and now I can just quickly sketch the waves in a way that uh, they appear as being like a channel flow through, this, uh, through these two islands here. So um, let me talk a little bit about um, how uh, the whole thing works, so what's under the hood. Uh, basically we work with a grid of uh, this grid cell size, that's basically a one meter grid. Uh, so each uh, grid cell has one meter side length, and you see that the waves are a lot finer than that. <clears throat> so basically what we do with the grid is, whenever I paint something, uh, I visualize here uh, what I paint, and that you can intuitively understand as something like directional wave energy, right? Where the color encodes the direction, so for the swirl I get a, this nice uh, color wheel here, uh, and the brightness, um, indicates um, the overall wave energy, right? Um, so, but we can do even better. So let me add a few dynamic objects in this simulation here. That takes some time. Here we go. Um, so now I added a few boats and you see that the boats now, they act precisely as the brushes, but at the same time, the colors that they uh, brush on the script, they get it vectored. So we use some simple um, Eulerian simulator for that, that works on this core script. So that, of course, we also want to see how this looks uh, in the visualization, or in the final uh, visualization. So here, you see that each boat uh, emits just a uh, nice wake. Right? And if you look at it, basically I added here 1,000 boats to the sea. So you see that you really there's a lot going on here. So it's still this 4K by 4K scene, 1,000 volts, all uh, animated here at comfortably like 45 frames uh, per second on a GTX 1080 in this case. So uh, that's really nice. Uh, what's more, uh, the waves also uh, they reflect off boundaries and uh, lots of nice stuff is happening here. So uh, and still you get all the details that you want. So you can really go close to this. And you can also jump around in the scene, there's no adaptive data structure whatsoever, so it's really all what you see that actually happens. 
but this is not just something that you can look at, you can also play a little bit with it. So here I added a little um, yeah, jet ski simulator where the jet ski uh, can jump over some uh, waves from the boats, for example. Um, yeah, something like that. Right? Or what you can also do is, let me clear up the waves, uh, you can also throw a box in here. And you see that it creates some sort of a wake, but here uh, we really drove uh, the simulation to its, to its maximum. So you see that the box size is actually the same as the grid size. So you cannot go much smaller with your objects you're going to animate uh, than this. But you can, yeah, you can throw in some more boxes like this. Uh, and they all create their own ripples. And they also bounce a little bit and get dragged away from, from the waves and from the waves. Uh, or you can also go a little more crazy with this and just do 1,000 boxes. So it's kind of cloudy with a chance of boxes, if you will. Um, yeah, and all this is still happening. So now we see 1,000 boxes, 1,000 boats, uh, all in a big scene with uh, more or less unlimited details. And uh, yeah, all this is happening at real time. So let me again do a box rain because it was so awesome. <laughs> Okay, so I think, uh, or I hope, you got as excited as we got over this, and yeah, thanks for your attention.